This is my first day with the S-Works water dispersion screen only. And this is my Robusta shot with it, which everything's still coming out to the left. I'm, I'm just really struggling with this. I feel like I need to do some work underneath the, the piece that goes into the water dispersion. And um, I mean, I feel like the water is dispersion screen is helping, but it's also accentuating the fact that you have this problem in there. Um, so I don't know. I made my usual shot for my wife and, and it's uh, the same, same issue, pulls to the left. So I've been trying to modify the profile, seeing if a flash, faster rate of flow uh, is better or faster uh, acceleration to like my ideal rate of flow is better. But it, previously, a slow rate of flow would cause more channeling. So uh, I, a faster rate of flow is not helping. In this case, I just cranked it up at the end, um, but it really came out one side. Um, so on the side, I'm, I'm doing this uh, yeasting these beans. They, they finished after 24 hour yeasting with Robusta or Robusta and my other blend. And I started to uh, rinse them. So I rinsed these a few times and then I let them soak in water for a few hours just in case there's any other residue. I, I don't like that there's a somewhat yeasty or sourdough kind of taste left over and I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of that. Um, but again, the aim for these is to bring these to the San Francisco Coffee Fest and, you know, brew some weird coffee with people. Um, so hopefully that'll all work out well. Then I went over to Chromatic Coffee to hang out with Iver and he wanted to brew some Chemex. So I've only had Chemex, I think two other times, one or two other times, like 10 years ago when they became more in fashion again. And he said, let's brew this coffee from El Salvador. I think he said it was uh, from an altitude of uh, 1650 meters. So uh, it's also just a washed plain coffee. There's, there's nothing, no extra processing. It's just a, a really good coffee from a micro lot up there. And it was a really good coffee. It tasted like what one would traditionally think is coffee. And it had a really good aftertaste. It was very enjoyable. Um, I don't usually drink anything aside from espresso unless I do a cupping or um, someone else brews me pour over, or in this case, Chemex. So it was a it was a very nice treat, and we got to talk a little until I got interrupted by one of the kids. So I went home and wanted to see if my machine was level. So I looked at my machine to see if I could figure out this this issue. I tried to even shove some paper in one side of it to to maybe if it was uneven that would cause an effect. Um, that could would cause this, but it's not. The water came out just the same. So it's filling up everything, but then once everything's filled, it's flowing really fast on the left. So I'm missing a lot of extraction. So part of this experiment has been a lot of bad shots on good coffees, which is unfortunate, but it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. So oh, I think this one was like, 10% TDS and like 14% extraction, you know, that was really crappy. So I took some slow-mo videos of the shower screen. I wanted to see how the water was coming out. It's definitely coming out a lot faster. And once it starts coming out of one side faster, even if it comes out more even later on, you're still gonna have some initial channeling that you don't, don't get over. Um, so I thought it might be screen orientation. I even, rotated the screen and still saw the same problem in the, the next two shots. So I also took off the screen and want to look at just the shower head. So right when it starts, water starts coming out, it comes more out of the left side first. Um, so it's definitely, definitely coming from there. And it's just frustrating. Ugh. Take a look at the puck. 
you see, you know, it's, it's mostly uh, light brown on the left side, which is where all the water is coming through. So it's over extracted and everything on the right is under extracted. Um, too bad I can't eat the puck easily. So then I pulled another shot of a new roast, um, uh, Ethiopian and Guatemalan roast that I humidified for uh, seven days and then I let it sit for another seven days. So it should be closer to like the best time to brew. It came through a little bit better, but then this problem just kept coming off to the left side, you know? Um, I'm almost tempted to stick a piece of metal in there and uh, wonder if I could just force flow to come out easier or stick kind of some kind of mesh screen up up top. Water behaves funny. I think too part of the issue is that uh, I'm using flows that, that are, are at low flow rates and accelerate up to one milliliter per second. This is a fun puck. This is just sitting on the counter and the light just had a fun effect on it. So anyhow, I, I, uh, I think um, the, the low flow rate is, is stressing the system a little bit and you may not notice it on, on other um, uh, profiles. So this wasn't as noticeable on the other, other profiles. It was only when I started working with steam pre-infusion and, and really started pushing the boundaries of what I could extract. Uh, right now, I think my main limiter of getting up to extraction levels uh, at the same as a, a, my level or lever machine is this, uh, how the water is coming in, you know, the water and, and surprise the water is coming in more even. I mean, at least on a lever machine that the water is coming in like a donut, which is fine because you can deal with a donut. This you have to, you'd have to lopside the, the grounds, which would be uncomfortable. So that was a staccato shot. This is the bottom of the staccato shot. So the, the right side is, you know, mostly not extracted. The left side is very extracted, over extracted in fact. Um, I think this is probably the crappiest uh, staccato shot I've pulled in months because of the profile. Even from the side, you can see that the, the water is just going all to one side. So, you know, you normally talk about channeling in, in little bits, and this is just like major channeling. Ah. Well, that's enough for today. Now, maybe I'll do some data analysis. Hope you guys have good coffee tomorrow.